F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that Gotta energy. bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend request reviews with friends request friends to watch Fargo season five, episode eight, titled blanket blanket you know it's funny we usually try to figure out the titles we didn't even try last episode and i'm feeling very much the same about this one man <laughs> like like blankets you know blanket they're used to for warmth you know for for cuddling for 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 bedding for i don't know like what what could blanket mean in this, in this point in time as roy is standing over a, a a weakened and injured dot um i don't know hopefully it's a, a blanket of of protection from her family somehow mrs lion somebody somebody come save dot because i i just don't know how she's gonna do it and like roy said though she always finds a way to get up um you know from from up under the ground um, like Munch says, she's a tiger. You don't want to push them in the corner because they'll always pounce back. And actually, Roy also said, when you think you're hunting her, she's really hunting you. So maybe she's all right. Maybe she's getting out of this on her own. I don't know. But last episode left us a little shaky here. How you feeling over there, Broly? Hopefully, you know, we start the episode off with her doing her Karana right on Roy and then, you know dipping um but nah uh, isn't there like a, a a phrase like blanket statement or something like that maybe yeah maybe maybe it's, maybe it's gotta do with something like that because you know yeah. she might have to talk to the police after what's going on here right you mm. would assume mm. so maybe she she you know she doesn't want to give all the information out i mean i could be completely wrong it's been a while since we actually try to tell what the titles are because in fargo these titles be <laughs> but yeah, I'm hyped to see uh, what, what what we got. Munch is on top of mind right now, obviously. Um, what else is Big Balls gonna do? Because I always enjoy whenever she's in the, on the screen, so I'm always mm -hmm. interested in what she got going on. And you know, hopefully, hopefully, if we do get an innocent bystander this time, which he's not really that innocent, he's a fuck boy. Hopefully, he catches some type of some type of you know something here. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully he's getting put under the blanket, pillow over the fucking face. <laughs> I'm just playing, but uh, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Sorry for the cursing formal. I know exactly. you gotta go back and edit. So exactly. go do your thing, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. Let's get right to it, man. He ready. I'm ready. I know y'all ready. We ain't gonna hold you any longer. We just gonna fly right in. Y'all know what to do with the video. Drop your likes, comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe. The goal is 10K. Click the button, click the bell, get notified when we go live. Let's far go. I see Homestead's name in here somewhere. What you doing? The hell you doing? What you up to, boy? Mm -hmm. But in a in the day of 2019, my man's still using the black book. That's the tax man right there. Meticulous. You're petitioning for a name change? Oh. Danish Graves for the petitioner Marlon Everett. What the hell is this? Three fourteen. Still me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Danish graves Three for the five. petition. You'll see in the file that all of the required forms have been signed. I think there's been a mistake. No, ma'am. The filing is correct. And they both want to change their name to the same thing. Three. Three up. Actually, third folder. Says so it's not my job to think. For real, your job is to stay. Three fifteen, me again, ma'am. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> each page has been properly signed. Sign it. Let's go. It says Nadine Tillman. 
I can't. I'm not. I'm Dot. Dorothy. You're nothing. Give him a nice uppercut. I was gonna say, don't there be a police and shit out there? But he police himself, so. Yeah. Hella rude. Look, ask her if she's okay. She wants to. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. How's your brother there, Kim? Mm. Huh? You sure would hate to send him back to prison. Hmm. That's what so I said, we can get man. This done proper. He the damn police, bruh. He's got too much power. Wow. I you didn't know he had of this. that much power. Holy shit. That would... and it's been a piece, what was that shit? <laughs> Thank fucking God, bro. Yeah, About oh! time. I don't know. Yes. About time yeah, this nigga pops up. Just an idiot. Wait here. been waiting for this dude to do something this season this is your chance brother mrs lyon oh God. no that's not a little far from home aren't you everything all right uh, she's fine mm -hmm. just took a spill is all right uh -huh. how we doing there kim back to minnesota you're saying mm -hmm. he met your husband oh, and mother-in-law he noticed her. come on brother. Some time. you should go mrs lyon Dorothy, I can help. Son, the lady said it's no concern to you. I heard her. I'm the sheriff in this county. Oh, I know you're not sitting here telling me I'm a suspect in some imaginary crime, so. Mm -hmm. There goes boys back there, too. Surprise. This is all just a bit of silliness. I'm fine, really. Thank you for your kind offer. Go home, please. Careful, boys. I think Officer Knight sticks on his period today. We're leaving. I can't wait till you get yours. You you deserve it so much. Remember that last interaction y'all had when you was on crutches? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he remembers him from stealing the evidence too. So, mm -hmm. yep. We gotta start putting all this Officer shit together. Homestead. Trooper went far on this end. Nice, he called her. Nice. Yeah, just threw a couple elderly out of their homes. I just saw her. Dorothy Lyon. Where? I'm at the hospital outside Bismarck. Just got her filed. Someone's got a ranch out on Route 11. My guess is they went there. What was her demeanor? Like one of those hostage videos you watch on the internet. <laughs> Seemed agreeable to it with her words, but uh, her eyes. Mm -hmm. like, a, like a trapped animal. What do you think, though? Do you, do you think Olmstead calls Mrs. Lyon? Hey, I, I want to take your job. I need a crew right now. Like, send the choppers. Get to the chopper. These motherfuckers come rappelling down on the ranch. <laughs> that will be a totally sick turn of events <laughs> that I would be down for. <laughs> I'm just saying, she looking real... Fed up. Distraught about her, yeah, fed up yeah, about her fed job. Up. She fed up. Like, she evicting she a, people. Evicting an old lady, not just any people, old people. Like, come on now. Your day is coming. You broke your vow. You broke my fingers, my collarbone, mm. three ribs. Mm. You dislocated my jaw. Damn. I was trying to fix you. A window cleaner. Wow. Piece on a window. You broke me trying to fix me. Right. There's that mouth. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I'm just gonna let you tire yourself out like a horse with a bit in its mouth for the first time. Yep, that's what he say he do. He break him, right? Like you break a horse. I can't. It's not just me. What, what you're doing. What did she you're take from the clipboard? Too. Plus, I am den mother for the Girl Scouts, and I raise <laughs> money for the library. Enough. No, I'm in love. Mm. This one gonna hurt True you. Love with the most wonderful man. We just started watching Call the Midwife. There's like 13 seasons of that show. So if... <laughs> I don't care. You made a mistake when you left me. That means everything come after that is a mistake, too. Wow. This nigga. My daughter is not a mistake. Mm -hmm. Fruit of the poison tree. That's the legal way of saying two wrongs don't make a right. You belong to me. What does that mean? Do you know how you Bible thumping. Started? The way you see things? Your mind? But do you believe it's the world that's gone mad? <laughs> it's you. I tell you what, Nadine. I'll promise you, hand to God. 
I'll promise to let you go just as soon as you beg me to let you stay and mean it. <laughs> She's not going to mean that shit. I'm going to kill you. Mm. Oh, Nadine. Come on in, Karen. This is Nadine. Nadine, this is Karen, my wife, mother of my children. Mm. Here we go. Oh. Karen and boys. They about to hit her with the water boarding. What the fuck for? One more wife, and he gets a set of steak knives. Shut up. I was gonna say she walked in there with an attitude. Sure you speak. Not once to me. She's trying to show out because she ain't trying to get none of that aggression. Mm -hmm. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Let me make daddy proud so I don't get my ass whipped today. Who knows if that's just the third? There's probably more. Facts, right? Whose Nissan is that? Oh, is that her personal car, maybe? Or... Right, is he about to get caught? That's what I'm thinking. I the hope Hummer's so. Yep. Sorry? Yep, yep. Lars, what are you doing in bed? It's the middle of the day. Mm, she in the bathroom. Wait, what are you doing? Home? Yep, that's her Uggs right there. I told you. Double shift. No. Just gotta change my talk. Hi. Physical therapy move she real yeah this is sorry what are you sorry for besides betraying all women everywhere go ahead take him he's useless mm. i too would like a wife thank you this is all saying a real man mm. someone who pulls his weight contributes hey, you know what so... i contribute okay no you don't you don't do shit and you'd rather die than say thank you to the person that does so Good luck to you. How long were they married again? Just wasted mad years on this nigga. Shame on you. For real. Both of you. Facts, cause you knew he was married. Stop playing. You just ain't know Did he was she a don't... piece of shit. She Did she? Bad. She. Bro, the way bad. he be treating her, like she don't even exist. Come on. This is a. This is her house, oh, bruh. You ain't pulling up to a woman's house. Oh no! Mm, repo. Okay, so that was her car. That's why she wasn't tripping when she's in a different car. So how the fuck is his car paid off? <laughs> Man, she probably pays his and not hers, supporting his ass. Wow. But yeah, bro, no woman going to another woman's house and not know that it's in another woman's house is what I was trying to say. Oh, uh, just 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 looking around. Yeah, yeah another you don't do shit touch. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like. Yeah. I, I, I give you that. There. I give you that. I give you that. There, there is a thing called a woman's touch when it comes to the crib. Oh, oh no! Now she got a ooh. Yeah, she. Ooh. Oh. She don't play. Okay, she's. That's not gonna work. Five years later. Oh, is this what the name change shit was about? Are they about to do some weird shit at the election? I mean, a uh, debate. You think so? Because remember, she mentioned something like we got a debate or an election to mess with. Yep. Look, look, look. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yes. Here we go. Big balls. Let's go. Uh, Roy Andrew Tillman, Roy Chester Tillman, and Roy, Roy Floyd Tillman. Beautiful. Bunch of Roy Tillman. <laughs> what the fuck is Beautiful. this? Is Jerry here? Election Jerry. Jerry Belknap, where you at? Miss we'll Lyons. Right Sheriff Tillman, how do you justify spending half a million dollars on war grade weapons and tactical? Mm -hmm. okay, half well, a mil. Andrew, I'm going to have to disagree with your numbers there. Does Stark County really need a tank? Damn. <laughs> a tank? You already panicking. Like, what's up, right? As sheriff, my first priority is the safety of the community. That means preparedness and defense. Safety of the community. That means preparedness. Preparedness and defense. Wow. I'm still talking here. I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Oh, shit. This is so good. They're going to make him spaz. All right, that's a good joke. Yep. Good joke. Good joke. Good joke. He going to snap it. Oh, look. Slick Rick back there. Yep. All right, you know what? This is bullshit. Mm-hmm. This is what you don't want to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they sold the weed. Oh, oh, and this is where you blow it. Good job. Good job. Let's go. I was 
wondering what you was up to. I thought you were trying to fuck over Big Boss, but I like you, man. I like you. You thought he was going to fuck over Mrs. Lyon? Well, when he was in the books, I was like, what is he doing with the books? You feel me? At mm. that point. Maybe like, he was finding people that, that really owed him some debt debt. Like, probably. Because that's a lot to ask a nigga to change their name. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, <laughs> I got a whole life. Like, you want me to do all this? Like, And it was three check marks. So you mm -hmm. probably right on that. Yeah. Put it on, put it on, put it on, put it on, put it on. Yep. Under the blanket. She gotta find a way to tie things emotionally with him, right? Like the shit he went through too as a kid. Gator, I saw your mom. Mmm. What? There we go. We gotta connect to him Linda. emotionally. I saw Linda. She's safe. He was gonna kill her. Mm-hmm. So she had to go to save herself. She made it. She got away, and she's safe, and I can take you there if you help me. But we gotta go right now. You're such a liar. You never told the truth not once in your life. Hmm. I swear, I can take you to her. Sound just like Roy when he said that. But the whole Linda is Linda I'm dead thing. Anywhere. Like, what's going on with that? Yeah, I'm. It's confusing me that she's saying she's alive. Yeah, or she like did I, she I get out the car and run away like while she was eat, trying to eat a pancake? Or why you're not named? Did you ever wonder why you're not named Roy? Huh? You're the fifth boy in a Told long you. line of firstborn Roy's. Told you. But your dad said he took one look at you in the hospital. He's a pale, puny lizard. Mm. And he knew you'd be a loser for life. Damn. Wow. And named you after a so fucking lizard. Out than have you carry it. Ask him. Mm. Hope you die in here, Nadine. Where the other Roy's at? Your daughter again. No, you don't. Yes, I fucking do. <laughs> Mina! Mina! <laughs> you need the man up because Munch's about to get on his ass real soon. Ah! Hey. Ha, ha, ha. Is he gonna go in there and try to? Okay, I thought he was watching from afar, gonna try to go in there and save. You need to drive away. I'm gonna shoot you for trespass. Not until I talk to Mrs. Lyon. Next one goes in your head. This dude is brave. Like, what the fuck? I mean, they the police, bro. <laughs> like, but he's like, also they... police too. He a state trooper. Ain't that like above a police officer? I know you don't think they're. I know you don't think they're coming. Consequences. They're almost here. Mmm. Bye bye. I like that. I know you don't think they coming. Consequences. You see him again, you shoot on sight. But they almost here. And that's Munch. Ow. This is his jurisdiction. I don't know how Fuck none of this bitch. is working right now. <laughs> Maybe his bitch. boss won't believe. I <laughs> get him, Munch. The consequences they coming. Yes, yes. No, yeah, okay. Bye. You need to hurry up. What's going on? He ain't home till you home. Buddy, right here. Yup. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm so far. I'm loving this episode, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving it. Yeah, but I just want Slick Rick to get back. I feel like he ain't safe until he's safe. Mr. Graves, are you here for Mrs. Lyon? Well, I work for Mrs. Lyon, so yes. No, Dorothy Lyon, the daughter-in-law. He has her right now. And I don't think she wants to be there. You spoke to her. Yep. She was in the county hospital and he took her out. I gotta go. Call my dudes. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Yep. What did he say? You bro. He already said it. Yeah, he just don't know what the fuck to do without calling Miss Line. That's what it is. Yep, call Lorraine. <laughs> That's all the contacts he got. <laughs> Lorraine, 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 Lorraine. Damn, does he think he's doing her a favor by leaving her? Or is he going to try to do something himself? Please don't, don't try to do something yourself because you're getting bodied out here, bro. He's definitely not doing anything by himself. Are you sure about that? There we go. He about to take out all his anger. 
Look, she's terrified. Look at her face. Oh my god. That was just awful. Don't even talk. Yeah, you shouldn't. You should take the kids inside. Karen. Mm hmm. You can fix it, though. I know it. Karen, I swear you're a bag of bolts in the brains department. The way you're attacking. Can't you see the man's upset? I just. I'm calling. Oh, we get music right now. He's about to go try to kill her. And now he's about to take another L. He think he's that Britney all Spears badass. song. Britney Spears. Yeah, didn't that? That's swear that made that little Britney Spears melody, bro. I swear it did. I have no idea. Version crazy, nigga. Yeah. Okay, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's sinister. It's sinister. I like it. Hell yeah. Come on, Dorothy. Last chance, right? You want to go another round? Let me go. Oh, I'm time you. Just gonna stroll right out of here, huh? Mm. Nice, Hurricanrana. Get out of jump on your back. There you oh. go. It was written the name of Mr. Oh Dave. no! Oh my God! This man is crazy. Right. Not now, brother. The lesson's almost taught. Lawyer at the gate, Danish Graves. Fuck. He came by himself, didn't he? Wanting to see you. Don't this is what I was worried about. Four more. Don't put Lawyers that got vibe big out balls, there. man. They be feeling like they could just. Don't put that vibe out there. Because then it comes back. That's what you don't understand. I'll get away. Same as Linda. Oh. You'll end up same as Linda. Barrier right next to her. Mm. Okay. That's what that was gonna be my other thing. Maybe they removed her from the car, cleaned it up, since it is his county. Damn, I didn't even think about that. That's yeah. fucked up. Oh, it's not night night, so she still got she's about twenty three hours in. That's true, that's true. I forgot she had a time limit. Yeah, yeah, she had a time limit. I know where Dorothy is. You found her? Not me. The sheriff. He took her back to his ranch. Come on. We're starting right now. Get this security team together. You're starting right now. Let's That's go. That's what she said, right? Yup. You starting yep, exactly. right now. Exactly. You, you fucking head of security. We need a fucking Guess alpha what? team to come through this shit. By the time you go back to your crib, you got a brand new car for you. Man, your Caddy. debt is paid. Caddy, all black tints. Fuck. I fuck with Slick Rick, bruh. Me too. What's his name? Graves? I like this dude, man. Yeah. But lawyers be ball. Every show, the, the lawyers always ballsy. Like they, they be acting like they the cameraman. The cameraman because. never dies. <laughs> That's true. But it's because they know the law. Yeah, exactly. And they, they think be thinking that people are abiding going, by the law. But what mm -hmm. you don't know is, Roy thinks he is the law. So mm -hmm. he thinks he the God's law too. At that. Fuck. <sighs> I'm not prepared for whatever. However, they about to close this up. Thanks for seeing me, Sheriff. Man, look at that firepower on the wall, though. I'll get right to the point. Today was humiliating for you. You're gonna lose your election, Roy. Understand that. I can fix it for you. All those other Roy Tillmans, I can make them disappear as quick as I made them. <laughs> Come on, you're saying too much. You're about to get touched for this shit. Oh, shit. Here's a question. If you're so smart, why would you come here? I knew it. I knew he wasn't going to say much. I'm surprised he said that much. I thought he was just going to pick it up and blast his ass. I like Graves, man. And where are you so dead? Hmm. <laughs> That's true, though. You see, you had no business going there, brother. Should have fucking called Lorraine. He wanted to go make mommy happy. Like, These black screens be a little too long. <laughs> they be long as fuck. Well, I like that one liner, though. That was a, that was a dope one. Oh, 
Oh, they about to throw Graves them? in there? Yeah, she about to uh, see it. <clears throat> she gonna see that eye patch. Oh. Damn. Oh. This is good, though. Yeah, because she see where the bodies are being piled. Yep. That's funny that her stash box was next to a little windmill thing, whatever, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to just go out to North Dakota and just start fucking digging around <laughs> these shits. Ooh, throwing a little acid shit on it. No. Nah. salt. The, that's um, for the smell, right? Maybe? I don't know. I thought it helped decompose, like the salt lime? heat up or something. Yeah, that shit. There we go. The lime thing? You remember? Yeah, you remember who used to use that? Fucking, uh... Walt? Nah. Um... Don't worry, man. You know, everything gonna be alright, you know? Please. You gonna come with us. Everything's gonna be good as they're walking you to their deaths. Oh, Marlo and them? Yes. You right? They were. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I was thinking Walter and uh and um Jesse, but I know they use the acid shit. So yeah, yeah, just, but that's I automatically the... was thinking maybe they ass did some science shit <laughs> nah, like as well. He, he's not on their level. Nobody's on that level. I. There you have it. Fargo season five, episode eight in the books. <sighs> Man, I can't lie. I didn't really know what to expect from this episode. Even even though they left us where they left us off at, like I'm I'm like obviously Roy is gonna capture uh Dorothy at least for 20 30 minutes at that but um they gave us a full episode of her behind em enemy lines and i loved it i loved the way this this whole episode played out it was it was really good everything mm -hmm. is kind of clicking where it needs to click there was a couple things that kind of be making me feel like i'm crazy sometimes but <laughs> it'd be hard sometimes man trying to react to keep all this information in and, and, and nice. try to keep it all in but the, yeah there was definitely a second where i'm just like wait is dorothy going crazy like especially when buddy was like you've always been here everything else been a dream i'm like hold on wait is that the same windmill that she thought she went to like so there was a little bit of that for a second for me but i think i pulled that back into where it needed to be <laughs> hopefully um, yeah. But I had a good time with this episode, and uh, obviously the one main thing that I wanted to see, it wasn't fleshed out, but we at least got notion of it, is munching that back seat, baby. So, them consequences are coming, yes, like a Far said, finally got his name, Whit Far, like he said, consequences, <laughs> they come one day. Yep. Um, but, how you feeling over there, brother? I'm feeling good, man. I think this episode kind of brings everything together, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um really well and I, i'm just loving i'm loving where everybody's at uh obviously you know dorothy where she's at is pretty horrible situation to be in but yeah i like i like where all the key players at because even with the lawyer gone guess what the uh what's his name again far with, with far, far yep with far yep with far he can put him in that location Yes. around that time so this also this you know there's a lot of variables that can go against roy right now who we want off the table you know whether it be behind cuffs or you know six feet under yeah fargo you choose the outcome for that but um i i, I just like where we're at right now when it comes to everything yeah the messed up thing is all these people are putting in their blood sweat and tears into getting roy and the FBI are gonna be the ones to get credit for this shit. Watch, <laughs> watch. In the end of That's it all, it they works. gonna come in like, Whoop, we found the bodies and this and that. And That's how it works. We so. <laughs> but um, all right, let's let's hop into it, man. I think uh, from the very beginning, I don't think was it the no, I don't think it was the very first scene, but it was the one of the first couple of scenes was the hospital, um, mm. when freaking Roy was trying to get Dorothy to sign out. So this. Uh, it's, it just sucks seeing situations like this because at the end of the day, you know it. Like, you're watching the show, and, you you know, from the beginning, you're like, okay, Roy's a sheriff. He has this type of pool. He has this kind of power. Mm -hmm. He obviously knows people here and there. But I, I feel like they do a really good way of, of, like, not always throwing it in your face so that when it does happen, it's just like, fuck! 
And that's how I felt about the whole hospital moment because I'm just like, yo, she's looking at her. She knows she needs help. Like yes. she's a woman. She feels the like, yeah. come on, you feel mm-hmm. this shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but then it's just, and then Dot even goes the extra mile to write, help me. Mm-hmm. And then Roy's just like, how's your brother? Whoop de woo. Does yep. he need to go back to jail? Whoop de woo. Rip this shit up. Give me another one. Like, mm-hmm. so it's just moments like that that just really make it so hard. Like, for for Dorothy and I feel like it also helps us as viewers just really paint the picture of how how much of a survivalist she's been bruh like and I I really wanted to say this last episode too because I remember remember when we first started watching it and and she um you know she took out that first hitter and you know just basically everything that was playing out we were just like yo what's her background is she like maybe ex-military or something at least girl scouts nigga like something (laughs) like but she was really under this man's boot since 15 like yeah so whatever she learned she learned on her own bro and just just being tired of dealing with that life and realizing that she's got to get out of it before she's killed like so i feel like that just paints an even stronger picture of how strong dorothy is as a fucking character and as a woman like yeah. um especially when we see how much odds are stacked against her so i think that first scene was very powerful and it also helped bring far back into the scene as well um because he pulled up and saw her there so i that was, I, yeah i i definitely enjoyed that whole interaction i th- i do agree with you that it was a very <clears throat> tense moment especially with her trying to you know convey with the eyes that you know mm-hmm. i need help but for me it's like the far, um, the the with far dude is like. He he addressed them in the hospital, but yet you're telling me you're not going to any superiors or like you. Yeah. You know, I feel like that. Th- there's no type of protocol <clears throat> being done here or anything. So for me, it's it's kind of hard to grasp some of this stuff and and and, and kind of run with it a little bit, you know, because mm-hmm. it's just like mm-hmm. for me, especially when it comes to his character, especially after, um. <laughs> Uh, slick back freaking bust a shot in his window and it basically you know does nothing so mm-hmm. for me it's like what type of steps is he gonna take in these next episodes that really gonna it, have to help Dorothy I mean I know he he wants the best for Dorothy that's why he told the lawyer you know she's over there but I really need to see him kind of step up a little bit here um, yeah because he could be He's he's an asset to the case, for sure. Yeah, at um, the end of the day. Yeah, so uh, you know, I I definitely like that, but that kind of was just rubbing me the wrong way, cause like you're a police officer as well, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You can do something here. Yeah, he does have power, but what is he gonna do? Is he gonna shoot you in the middle of the fucking hospital? So for me, it's just like he needs to he needs to go above and beyond right now and really take it in, cause you have more than just the hospital. You have him taking evidence. You know, um, mm-hmm. and then, you know, the whole interaction in the beginning, you know, with uh, the kidnap, the original kidnapping and him going through all that, like all of that comes together and pretty easily. So hopefully he wills it in, you know, because uh, he, he has a lot of the pieces that other people don't have. So, yeah. It's funny you say that because when we started discussing like jurisdiction and shit like that, mm-hmm. I was going to mention that. I was going to say like, why doesn't he go to his superiors? But I'm just like, we're just about to just be talking throughout this whole episode and, <laughs> not, and not catch the, the rest of the information. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that is a good point because I don't, I was thinking that same thing. Like, what, what, what is, why not go to your superiors and say, hey, this is what's going on? But like, am I misremembering? that there was a time that him and Olmstead did go to their superiors about something. And like, they got, they kind of got redirected. Like, cause they were like, if I'm, I don't know if I'm just creating this memory. Cause there's always issues with like the superiors. I feel like in Fargo, except for like season one, I think. Um, but, uh, nah, season one had it too. I'm about to say it was, it was, you know, it was season two. It was season Bill? two. My bad. Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I feel like maybe like I know they didn't go directly with with this per se, but I do feel like they did go to the superior about I something think, and they yeah. got they, they told Ohm said you need to be going doing that and you need to be going doing that yeah. type shit. Like, that's true. so maybe that's that's why. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Like the, there was there was definitely a feeling of that for me, too. Like, you know, you got people shooting you in windshield. You got to go and write that up. motherfucker. Like you, you can't just pull up with your cruiser into the. 
local PD and they're gonna be like, what the fuck happened to your window? Like, you feel so, me? This ain't your car you bring it home. You're bringing it back to the <laughs> office. So mm-hmm. the next person that gonna ride in it will be like, yo, I got a bullet in my hole. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. Something's son gotta be done here. Yeah, that, that's nah, that's a, a very <laughs> fair point. Get with it, man. Fun. Very fair. <laughs> um, and then another thing that um, definitely kind of shined in this episode not really shine shine like it but it was something that i was kind of considering that i figured dorothy was gonna have to do but i don't really know how like what is gonna i don't think it's gonna bring anything to to the table especially since munch is on gator's ass but the connection the emotional connection like um between her and gator like she was literally probably maybe a year or two older than him when they first met so they were more like brother and sister before she became, you know, his mother, his stepmother, basically. Yeah. But um, yeah, she even brought up the whole Linda thing. Uh, oh, kids. Yeah, the which other I, Roy's, like I how like, you a disappointment. I, told you, I knew there was more than just three. They right. had to be. The way he be having them going, you know, like a revolving door. And re- yeah, not as facts. Nah, there's definitely got to be more. So yeah, I love that they brought that up. Cause it does but play I'm with curious emotion. though, what does it do though? Because like, if Munch that, exactly. kills Gator, then it's just like, there's no point. Like, exactly, it's, it's exactly. whatever. Like, exactly. I f- I feel the same way about that situation. It's like, so if Munch does kill him, is there anything to that? Like, no. But at the same time, thank you for the information. But go Fact. ahead and just kill his ass. <laughs> like, go ahead and just kill his ass, please. That just makes his death worse because he gonna go out realizing that his daddy ain't even love his ass. <laughs> like he go. All he ever wanted to do is live up in his dad's yep. footsteps, and he couldn't what? even be a junior. He's going to be swinging at the mirror like, well, I'm not a Roy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we seen all the other Roys. They was on that stage today. Like, that's <laughs> <what> <laughs> they, they doing something with their lives. But, yeah, I thought um, I thought that was kind of interesting because I'm just like, like I said last episode, we finally find out where his mother is, who his mother is, and mm-hmm. and all of that. Um but he didn't take it too well. Like he said, you a liar, blah, blah, blah. Hope you die in here. Hope you never meet your daughter again. whoop de woo But yeah, I'm just kind of curious because like Munch is in the back seat. And and it it didn't I don't know. It didn't it didn't feel like a send-off episode for, for Gator. You know what I'm saying? Like so maybe we get scenes next episode that that kind of tie him up, but I don't know. I don't but, I don't know. I feel like we're gonna see him in another place and Munch is gonna be like and then he gonna go back down like oh this just ain't my time this, yeah this just, ain't my time yet this okay, ain't the I scene that it. i kill him yet like you know we lose saying? him in the last episode type shit me? maybe like he gonna yeah because <laughs> i feel like he gonna be in the crib to and, and munch is gonna be in the window like mm-hmm. see, i'm just, just stalking waiting you right now i'm just stalking you i'm playing with my food like mm-hmm. i don't know i don't know it was just yeah it didn't feel like a send-off and on yeah, top of that like he had the thing in front of him and you know that's kind of like protects the person in the front seat so, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but I'm excited to see what happens with that. You know, hopefully. where do you think he's headed though? He's because Roy's right already now. back at the ranch. Yeah, he's pissed right now, so maybe he's. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. They'll get to that, but just questions left in my head after this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, because it definitely don't feel like a. I feel like like I don't like Gator's character or anything like that but they're definitely trying to make him a bit more complex than I first originally thought like I was definitely. just like you know just a nigga trying to live in his daddy's footsteps yep. but they threw Same. in the whole Linda stuff and all that and previous Roy Juniors like so I'm just like okay they trying to do something with this character but then he's boom so munch so I'm just like ah, he's too far this. gone bro he's too far gone to I agree to back episode 8 like I agree maybe, I agree that's what I'm saying maybe like, episode 5 6 y'all probably mm-hmm. could have pulled it off but it, we in episode 8 baby I'm ready to see him go yeah I'm ready yeah, to see especially with the off. killing my dukes and, and, yeah. and stealing the money yeah like, yeah yeah, yeah. He, he a piece like of buddy shit. said the consequences are gonna catch up so yeah, exactly yeah. they will <laughs> um what else we had here uh i mean we had the election the debate i should say not the election the debate probably one of my more favorite 
like silly <laughs> Fargo moments. I think so Fargo good. always kind of has they they shine of of comedy sprinkled throughout their seasons. Yep. Um, and this one was just straight goofy. <laughs> like this this was in a very fun way. Yeah. Um, because we were completely confused. Like we were just as confused as the notary woman. You know, the clerk fucking stamping these damn <laughs> name changes. And they didn't. Did they say what name? He didn't say it, right? Bro, that's what I'm trying to. I. I need to stop I'm like, did we so miss much? that? And that's why but it's even funnier. I think which is so. kind of a good thing, right? Yeah. Like, it's a good if, thing that we if, missed it. If, if we did. missed it and they didn't say it then, it does make it funnier. It definitely yeah. does. Because when you see all of them up there with the cowboy hats, and then they're like imitating what he's saying up there, <laughs> it's just comedy gold. Like, that's just beautiful. That's mm-hmm. how you destroy someone's election, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Imagine, was fun. imagine three other Donald Trumps. <laughs> imitating Donald, Donald Trump. That will be hilarious. Like, that's Yo, something gold. tells me, though, that Donnie T wouldn't lose his composure, though. His, <laughs> nah, his I ass don't think would be he up there. He, he, he'd probably just start clowning, bro. Nah, he's he good funny. at clowning people, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he definitely, but <laughs> he, just He'll probably be like, I didn't know I looked that good or some shit. He'll probably start talking himself up. Like, he'll find like, a way to turn that your shit around. Where you get from, huh? You get your shop mm, in the exactly. same place as me? Like, yeah, yeah. I can see that. <laughs> Um, but nah, that moment was great and it escalated exactly how I, well, I'm not you even going to say how I expected it to, cause you I didn't always. expect it until I didn't expect it. I didn't call it till I saw it though. That's the thing. It was one of those like, Oh, okay. I'm, I'm in there, but it made sense. I'm just like, he's about to start raging. So, well, at first I didn't expect the clone thing. Like I, I was just like, Oh, the, the thing, the name changes has to do with this. Mm-hmm. I figured that they were, um, I thought it was just going to be different people debate. Just, just him creating competition. That's oh no, what I'm I not talking about that. I'm talking about how did you get like okay, once the cop told the lawyer, you know, he's going to go to the ranch and get body. Like for me, oh that that, yeah. that for me kind of wasn't in the thought process. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's yeah. why I'm just like. Brad, and it's then, the whole and it's innocent bystander. Full, hey, I feel it's you, the, but it's always fucking formal. Putting, <laughs> and I, 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 trust me, I love when you do that because you know, get it out. But at the same time, this man is, he, his <laughs> batting average is crazy. Like it's like seventy percent. Like <laughs> that shit is high. It's you, Brad. You be you bring up the innocent bystanders, and even though I know some people could probably say Graves wasn't innocent because you know. He's implicated in his actions through what he does for Mrs. Lyon, but he's at the end innocent. of the day, he doesn't deserve to die. So yeah, he's innocent. To me, that makes him innocent. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So that that's that was just me connecting the whole the fact that you brought up the innocent bystanders and and because you just brought that up like two episodes ago, and you brought it up about Olmstead's husband. So I was just like, honestly, Olmstead's husband's too corny for them to kill off. Like, that's facts. But you feel me? He don't deserve to breathe in anymore. He don't. <laughs> he don't. He don't. He's super corny, but Yo. he ain't. He ain't in the shits enough. So I was just like, yeah. it's got to be this guy, especially after his how mad he was yeah. after the shit. I yeah, mean, he yeah, punched yeah. the fucking woman, right? So yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if you go see this man right now, you're not coming out, bro. He's gonna yeah. take his anger out on somebody. So yeah. Once I once I heard like, okay, the lawyer's here. I'm like, okay, Formal's right about this because he's mm-hmm. beyond pissed right now. So, mm-hmm. yeah, he's going to escalate it. And, yeah, that's exactly what happened, which is pretty shitty because I thought he was a pretty good character. I like him as an actor. Like I said, the only other movie that I remember seeing him in was Sky High, and I loved him in there. He was the gym teacher. No, he wasn't the gym teacher. He was, like, the sidekick. Yeah, he was a sidekick to the... Yeah. It... Everybody knows who watched Sky High knows. What's that? Is it a Disney movie? Yeah, it's a Disney movie. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I think I yeah, know yeah. what that is then. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's a Disney movie. Okay. Um, Damn. Yeah. How could you die? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember any actor in that movie, bro. That's crazy. Did you recently see that shit? I've watched it a couple times. That's the thing. I watched it maybe two or three times. So, But not only that, he has a distinct face like for me. Like for He kind of like, do. Like, I feel like... Yeah, you see a guy like that, I feel like you could kind of instantly recognize yeah. him again. Um, yeah. Some people just have home faces where they look like doppelgangers and shit like that. Yeah, he he's his own character. And then the eye patch. I love eye patches. I, you know, sometimes <laughs> I wish I could just wear one, just wear one. But then people you can. Like, I, <laughs> I can. But then people go like, what's, "What's wrong with your eye? Nothing." They I gonna just judge like your ass. Yeah, like... exactly. Like, oh, this dude's a weirdo. 
So maybe I should to cover up this right here, right? Yeah, just say you sensitive in one eye. Say That's one right. eye is sensitive to the sun, like the other <laughs> one is good. Like. Um, but also we also did get a little bit of Olmstead this episode. And, and, yeah. And, uh, I, you know, he he got what he fucking deserves. You know. Yeah. Um, he's a cheetah, uh, a person who has multiple dreams that never finished coming into fruition. Doesn't contribute to anything. Even the clothes on his back. Is paid by his wife. I love how she was just throwing shots, and the girl in the back was just like, "Ew." She exactly. was getting, the, she was getting the icks, the icks. She was like, "Ew, that's icky." Ew, mm-hmm. ew, 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 ew. Sea toilet. So yeah, I, I I love that whole scene. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it ended with her car being repossessed, but it did turn out that she ends up taking the job at the end of the day. So. You know she's gonna be making some pretty big bucks. I can't wait to see her at the end of the se- the the season to see how she does. She take the job though, like, cause I feel like she said no, but then since she told her where Do- Dorothy was, she was just like, "You start now." Like, you start but... now. No, did she say no though? I thought she didn't. She say I have to. No, I don't know what she. To be honest, I did miss that as well for some reason. But I felt like she stumbled on her words and didn't completely commit to a no. Mm. I could be wrong about this, but no, you you could be right though, because it didn't feel like a direct no. Because like if she would have said no, I'd be like no, she for sure said no. Like yeah. it, it it did sound like she said like some shit like that alluded towards I can't do this right now mm-hmm. kind of yeah. thing. Like like she, she needed said, more than the twenty four hours that she gave her. Kind she of. said you start now. Yeah, yeah. So she did say that. And that once she she, she's at least mission? on she on the clock at least for now. Like even if she doesn't decide to take it, she could be like hey. That was worth about forty thousand. You know nah, that, that, that about one hundred ninety thousand. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nah, facts. I got your motherfucking son's daughter back. Yep. I mean, son's wife back. You yep. better at least a hundred thousand. You know, and, mm-hmm. and and whatever the repo is, you know what I'm saying? Pay them, mm-hmm. them up, get my car back. So yeah, I like I, yeah. I, I like like I said, I like where everything is at right now. I really do. I love the people that they bring it back in, and what they're presenting because what they what, what we got right now is is just a mess. So it's you know it's in typical typical Fargo fashion. It's about to just get messier for these next yeah. two episodes, but cleaner you? at the same time. <laughs> I would say it's I would say not messier. It's just we're going to the next room. Mm. How about that? We cleaned the living room. Now we're going to the next room, which is just as messy as the living room was. <laughs> because 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 you're right. Like the the Olmstead thing, I feel like is is getting so much closer to ending her story, basically. Right, like we finally got the husband out the way, so we don't got to worry about all that. Like, mm-hmm. um, grave story is closed. He he fucking died, right? So like they are definitely starting to close up stories and cleaning um, cleaning up messes here. So it's getting good. It's getting good. Um, <clears throat> so I guess my final thing here um, and final thoughts is obviously you know Dorothy seeing Graves' body get dumped. Uh, that could definitely be a key moment for her to let people know where to, where you know where the bodies are where they're yep. currently being stashed because there's probably a lot more down there um and also just just what roy is going to do in general because right now i feel like his back is against the wall and he did not present himself very well at all he punched a woman in the face went home beat the shit out of dorothy killed graves so i feel like he's making a lot of mistakes too that like far said comes with consequences um but yeah I'm, I'm i'm definitely ready for for what's to come next um and obviously mrs line and olmstead clicking up so do are we gonna get a motherfucking all black seals come through split a cell type extraction shit or, or what like what's about to pop off man um so that yeah that's it for me you got a final thoughts? Want to drop a score? No, I really don't have any final thoughts. I just really enjoyed this episode. Um, I, yeah, uh, I, I'll give this one a eight seven five. I think it's close to nine. Um, yeah, but I, it definitely has me excited to see where where we're gonna end these last two episodes and how how they potentially could land it. Because um, mm-hmm. I was skeptical in the beginning of the season. I can't lie. Um, but as the season went on, I started to you know warm up to it a little bit more and now i feel like th- it's starting to turn out to be a good a, a good season because i was mm-hmm. skeptical in the beginning of how things were kind of presented to us like how they laid out the story it was you know it, it was something missing and mm-hmm. i think they 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 hit it 
with these uh these last three yeah um it's funny you say that because i was skeptical all of until last episode basically <laughs> and i even go lie bro yeah. and even though i called last episode a filler episode i still was just like okay i'm starting to see it all like i think i see where they're going now finally with it because yeah i've been i've been skeptical coming out of season four was a bit rough like i'm sorry um i think fargo has you i feel like, like we always talk about the effects of binging versus not binging and stuff i feel like fargo probably has it harder to binge whereas people when you get to take a break you get the full refresh whereas we're going straight out of like season one then two and then you know three had his own specialness too and then four it's just like oh shit like i could have waited a year for this like, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh no disrespect for it let's get back to, to yeah. five but i feel you though i felt the same way I, I was like we were stuck in episodes two and three for a long time for this season this was probably the slowest burning season mm. and i don't know what it was about it maybe i, I think maybe it's because i feel like they kind of like focused a little bit more on individual characters sometimes whereas like the other seasons they always try to keep like the whole thing moving all at once um except for that one i can help episode that was probably like one of the like <laughs> that was a, a interesting one yep. um but yeah they 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 got me now i'm definitely excited for these fi uh, final two you got me now. what yeah they got me yeah i have you in the first half <laughs> but i'm gonna get this one I'm, i agree i'm gonna give it an 872 i don't think it's definitely better than what i scored last episode but i don't think it made it just all the way up to that nine um, but there's some greatness here coming. I think so. I think they could finally like. I feel like they do better when they have everybody here. Mm. To be honest, like so the fact that Far is back on the screen, the fact that Olmstead's on the screen, Mrs. Lines on the screen, Roy's on the screen, Dots on the screen, Munch is on the screen, Gators on the screen. Yep. Like all we gotta do is get Wayne back in, but he does. He never really offers too too much, so we don't miss him when That's he's not on the screen. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that's our boy <laughs> <laughs> um, but great scores across the board man that's yeah, eight yeah. sevens uh from your two hosts if you still here rocking with us we appreciate y'all so much y'all keep us moving and grooving baby you know what to do with the video drop your likes comment down below let us know what you thought about this episode most importantly if you enjoy content like this consider subscribing to the channel we also have full length watch alongs but you got to bring your own copy of course Patreon link will be in the descriptions down below. F double R is out, y'all. Peace.